So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we want to work on. So, this area, I want to be longer. Because right now, I have a shelf. Meaning, I have too much gapping in between the bottom layer and this. Now, it's common to see that this hair grow slower this I was telling Cameron this that this area is a problem area for a lot of people I think it's because it's harder to reach mm -hmm. but you know we know that that's our goal because ultimately we'd like to have a nice shape and that shape comes from this growing out of it but also it has been like uh, stopped from buns mm -hmm. so that's that now on the sides I have holes meaning I have a gap here and I have that on both sides so I'm looking to grow it's really coming from this area. I'm looking to grow this down. Uh -huh. And it's the both on, it's the same on both sides. I have another hole over here. Mm -hmm. That comes from allowing this area to come down. So my suggestion is that we put everything to here. And that would be, you wouldn't lose much hair on the sides, you'd lose the hair in the back. Now, Alternatively, I can cut this not as short. Actually, I don't want to cut the back past the hairline. Like, I don't want to cut the back shorter than here, which is your chin. Um, but that would be, if I could cut it to the chin, everything to the chin, that would allow for this to not look so spacey in between. But also, it looks like um, if there's been headband wearing. Oh, yeah that has compromised this part. So what I like, I see a lot when people wear headbands is that this hairline begins to kick out like this. So I'm okay with headbands during sports, but I'm not okay with headbands all the time. So, because what it does is it, it makes the hairline make, or like a roundish when I really want it to come down. Okay, so that's something else we're working on. So to tie it all up, I would like to cut it to the chin meaning you're not losing pretty much any hair here, but you'd be losing the back hair. And actually, I won't cut the back hair, I won't pass, cut the back hair further than where your hairline is. If it happens to go, if I cut here and it still doesn't match up, I'll just create like a U shape where they match up really like flawlessly, but eventually we're wanting to create a straight line everywhere all the way around. So that means you would not lose much hair here and you wouldn't lose much hair here because I kind of already have layers cut, but I would trim up those layers a little bit. Okay. Are you more attached to her hair than she is? I think her dad. It's not even a, the child a lot of times. It's right. the mom and dad, and I get it. Right. I get why that is. But when we see this, she's not going to wear her hair down like this. Right. And our goal is to get her to wear her hair down. Right. I guess for me, it's like a sense. Water. 
and it's not stinky. Like most people, I ask them okay because they're asking the same question. I'm like, okay, so does your hair stink though? And they're like, no. Then it's just really just water. And water refreshes the curls. So no, actually, this is this routine is best for people who like to work out, who like to play sports. And I know this firsthand because I work out. It doesn't look like it, but I do. <laughs> so. Although you have curly hair, it's totally different from her. So the stuff that she used won't work on her, and it's a whole thing. And I get that, but I help so many moms with that. Like it's so it's a normal thing that we do. So I get it. So now, between now and the next time we talk, yep. if I have a question, what would be the best way to contact you? Uh, I would email me. I'll send you with my card. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And don't overwhelm yourself with like what I do is I get like unintentionally I give specific things that I want the client to work on for our first appointment and then next time I'm like okay you mastered this part so now for this appointment this next three months I want you to work on this and that's kind of how I do it so that I'm not piling all this stuff on because then then you won't do anything. Exactly. So but it's not so our focus this time that. is product distribution. Mm -hmm. And the next time we'll decide, okay, because I'll know. Like Cameron, did you not wear the buns? Because it's looking like he was wearing buns. Like then we'll then then, then the goal will be let's not let's cut down the buns. You know, just depending on where we are in three months. So But this is this is a lifestyle chain, you know, and so it does take time, but I'm, I, I have much faith. You've taken the first step. Yes, which is great. See here, as I look from the side, there's a air. Like I should have a nice pump here. So I'm looking. When I this comes down, then I'll be looking to make like a cute shape as this, as this is coming down. Now I do want to. Let's let's talk about this. Until this comes down, I will continue to keep cutting this up until this catches up. This hair probably grows faster, which is fine. 
and that's so common for this this nape to grow faster than this area but i'm not gonna allow i won't get in the same spot as we were where this is too long and this is not so until this can, catches up i will always be playing catch up so this your hair will be this length